What if we only had one day to live? We basically got our death row meals in real life. We're gonna die. We got arrested. And they set the death sentence on us. It's not okay. So this would be our last meals if we if it happened. Okay, so to start off for drinks, I got a brown sugar boba and a Coke Zero. I was supposed to get taro boba with, with tapioca, but instead they put, I don't Something. know, lychee jelly in here, so this whole thing tastes like lychee. I'm already not allowed to die until I get the proper drink. It's an experience, a new experience before you die, honestly. It's awful. And then, the other drink, surprisingly, I have a monster, and Benji doesn't have a monster, which is so off-brand. I don't need the energy, I'm dying. I'm so hungry. Let's start with I'm the start. I'm so hungry. <laughs> like, I'm actually dying. I'm obsessed with you. These are my friends. So for my starters, for my death row meal, I've got the classic Canadian poutine, which I actually haven't had, I think, since I left Canada. So I need to have one last taste of Canada in my mouth. Empanadas. What about, like, Trudeau? You could taste them in your mouth. <laughs> if you would like that proposition, Trudeau, I'm always available. Oh, God. <laughs> Empanadas from Argentina, classic. And sashimi. Because I don't know why, I just love it. With some good soy sauce on the side. I actually wanted lobster rolls, but like it was really hard to get. I got Maggi noodles because I'm Indian and this is comfort food. Then I got a chicken wrap. And if you're Indian, you know these. They're, they're so good. It's like the Indian version. They're spicy. You get them like even on the street. They're just so fire. Chicken burritos. Get out of here. Way better. Dumplings. Because I grew up in a dumplings country. I just ate dumplings like four times a week. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I get to eat. Benji actually forced me to starve myself the whole day. What the fuck? <laughs> that just, was not my just decision. Just so the video is better, but it didn't work out. <laughs> These dumplings may be cold, but they're so good. Oh, I love food so much. These ones are roasted pork dumplings, because hell yeah. And these ones are shrimp and pork. They're like actually the best though. I would eat these every day. Okay, but if you actually got the death sentence, what do you think it would be for? I don't know, saving too many kids from the fire. Like, who would give you the death sentence for that? The person who started the fire. <laughs> Bro, it's so insane. Maggie noodles, they cost like 10 cents in India. It's like the best food ever made. Cost six euros. <laughs> Bro, I love how like in India and China, your traditional food is like really good. And then Canada has French fries and gravy. <laughs> Our national dish. <laughs> Look at this. Look, it is so good, man. It's the perfect amount of spicy and onions and chicken and... The wrap is just the best wrap ever. Now we're gonna upgrade. Bruh. I can die. I'm ready. Do you want to try the poutine? Oh, I actually do. I've never had poutine before. Embrace the Canadian culture. Let's see if this tastes like Canada. I somehow don't picture this being Canadian. This tastes literally like more Latino than it tastes like Canadian. It's technically not all of Canada. It's more Quebec. We're switching out the food. Main course. Yeah, I would have picked like 20 more things. If I didn't actually have to pay for it for this video. Bro, I would have asked for like the most expensive food or foods that I never even tried that I I've always wanted Bro, to try. Just start, just start making stuff up. You just <laughs> write words there that don't exist. And you're like, what do you mean you can't find this? Like, go get me some. I want a boiled phoenix, phoenix egg. The toes of a dragon. <laughs> you said who, you wanted dragon's toes. Who stove. would want to sniff that? Please don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> Viewer eats first. Okay, so for my main meals, I've got some biryani, goulash soup. This isn't goulash soup, but we're just gonna work with it. And some ramen. And for my meals, I have Käsebratzen. I don't even know how to describe these. Like German, Austrian, like egg noodles with covered in cheese with onions. I hope that one day if you come to Germany or Austria, you eat really good Käsebratzen and you will never forget it. It will change your life. It will change your life. I have a steak with like garlic bread, but this steak is kind of old because we got it like also like a while ago. And then we have sushi. I just love sushi. It's my favorite food ever and ever and ever. But we need to count the countries again. I guess like Germany, Austria. Oh, we had Japan already. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah. is now we have more Japan. Even this more. is like American or French. I don't know, depending. I think this meat, it said was from America, but in like French restaurants, you always get steak. But it could also just be like British. Nah. But I don't know where the first steak comes from. Where is the first steak from? Bro, probably like some random ass place. Bro, if you find the first cow, he can tell you where the first steak came from. <laughs> That's for sure. Then we've got India again. Japan again. And then Austria, right? Yeah, but this has like cinnamon goulash. So like this, I this is disgusting. Actually, I tried it a little bit. <laughs> the flavors don't work together. Bro, like, let's see the steak. Is this still edible? Okay, I ordered medium rare. It looks pretty medium rare. Whoa, 
I'm still so good. Genuinely, also just love biryani so much. Like, I feel like it's like the perfect amount of flavors. But you know where your sushi is missing? Soy sauce? Cream cheese. No! God, please, no! 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 Bro, sushi and cream cheese is a sin. <laughs> Don't even start this conversation in front of camera. Yeah, but that's like literally not cultural appropriation, it's just cultural destruction. Cultural like, annihilation. That's what? <laughs> what would you say, like, I don't know, like, some Indian dude took some spaghetti bolognese and just put in, like, every Indian spice ever, and it just, like, didn't taste like spaghetti bolognese, it just tastes like tomato curry. I'll with... try it. It could be good. Just like the nice fusion day. Just fuse every food together. Fuse me and your mom. Like, honestly, they should get the death sentence after making it. honestly. Die. I'm working on this biryani pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. It smells really good. Enjoy some. Bro, the craziest thought is you'll never poop out your death row meal. Yeah, you will. No, your, your muscles relax, so everything just leaves your body. Bro, because when I'm pooping, I definitely don't feel relaxed. <laughs> Sometimes you have to fight yeah, for your life, man. That's the opposite of relaxing. <laughs> Let me just eat these eggs in peace. See what you did, now you're doing some fusion shit. Bro, eggs are not Japanese. There's eggs everywhere. If I was actually dying, I would get fucked up. Like, full on. But why don't you just get like a whole bottle of tequila or something? Bro, just, <laughs> just send it. <laughs> like, you don't have to be there consciously for when you die. Yeah. I feel like the, the toilet's gonna be having a good time tomorrow morning. Bro, it's gonna be the most multicultural it's ever had. Prepared to get cultured. You wanna try the steak? Mmm. For like a steak that's just been lying on a plate for a bit, it's, it's pretty good. Mm. The garlic bread on the other hand is kind of soft. But do you actually think there's, there's an afterlife? Like, are we going into the afterlife after this? You're gonna get reborn as a worm. Why would I would you still be friends with me in the afterlife if I was reborn as a worm? As soon as I get my chance to run, I'm running, man. But what if you're a worm too? There's no running. Slowly slithering away. <laughs> Did you ever see that one movie where this kid is dared to eat like 60 worms? <laughs> Oh, I just remember that. I forgot no about this. Oh what my god. What is it called? It like kind of traumatized me, but I loved it as a kid. You just like unlocked the core memory. How to eat fried worms? How, How to, to eat, eat fried worms! worms. <laughs> I forgot about this. I kind of want to watch it. I kind of want to try it. What would a worm taste like? Maybe a deep fried worm. Bro, a fried worm? I don't think it would taste that bad. If you imagine they have like the texture of like noodles, but they just have a bunch of protein, like is it that bad? I don't think they have the texture of noodles. <laughs> Maybe you're just like slightly uncooked noodles. Ravioli spaghetti. If you think about ravioli, it. Ravioli? Spaghetti. Yeah, but because the ravioli has stuff inside it. But worms don't have anything inside them. Yes, they do. What's inside a worm? It's Guts. just more worm. <laughs> Guts. I mean, they have to have organs, but like, I feel like I've ever, ever seen a squished worm, it all look the same. Like, there's just worm everywhere. <laughs> Bro, like, a shrimp is just like a water worm. Like, look at it. So now tell me. If the inside of a shrimp is just more shrimp, then it's the inside of a worm, not just more worm. It's not. I just scientifically proved it. I can't with this. Let's move on to desserts. And all of the small things that you do. I'm a thousand miles yeah. away, but... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's do our, our desserts. Crepe de croissant. Okay, we've got one last course before we die. It's coming. The clock is ticking. I've got some alfajores. Argentinian, basically a cookie with dulce de leche and a little bit of coconut shavings. We've got a San Sebastian cheesecake. In my opinion, the Spanish San Sebastian cheesecake is the best cheesecake in the world. And then lastly, a classic McDonald's apple pie thing. Whatever it is, so good. but they're so good. But this is like literally like how I imagine food in the future. They forgot what an apple pie originally was, and they just make these like bricks of apple pie. <laughs> the Bro, steak is just this. The shit. steak. This is like yeah, whatever. The ramen is just, the empanada is just this. Okay, I have gulab jamun, but this one's like kind of sacrilege because normally you have a lot of these, and they're like in syrup, and it's so sweet but so good. And I just kind of have these like, they look like literally like decapitated testicles. <laughs> this is very, very sad. But I think they're gonna taste really good still. They're kind of like balls of bread. And because they're in syrup, they like soak up all the syrup. So they're just like sweet balls of bread. And then this is called Kaiserschmann, which means king's nonsense in German. And it's basically like pieces of like fluffy pancake. You bake them in the oven and then you put them in the pan and then you bake them in the oven again. And you're actually supposed to sprinkle powdered sugar all over it, but they just didn't. You have like plum confit or whatever it's called. It's kind of like 
this plum sauce that's sweet and sour. And normally you also get apple mousse. They also just didn't give us that. You know, all these places have been lacking. Like seriously, we're dying. They're not even pulling through. But this is so good. Like, if you eat this, like pancakes are just never, will never be the same. Cause they'll always just be number two compared to this. Oh yeah, number three before I eat this is like chocolate fudge brownie Ben and Jerry's because I don't know, I just feel like I eat way too much of that. And every time I'm sick, I'm like, it's time to eat chocolate fudge brownie. Cause apparently eating cold stuff when you're sick is not bad for you. And I only found that out two years ago. Who's saying this? I don't know, like parents. My parents didn't say this. Maybe they just don't care about you. I feel like most people's parents told them to not eat ice cream when they're sick. You know like the tube popsicle things that you squeeze and they come out? Mm -hmm. We had them always in my house, but we were only allowed to have them when we were sick. And so like I just grew up thinking it was like medicine until like I went somewhere to like camp and they were just serving them. And I was like, what the fuck? Why are you giving us medicine? My mom once put spinach up my nose. You know that? Filled my nose with spinach. That's like spinach. your mom hates you, I feel like. <laughs> she like made food with spinach and I like ate it spat it out, said I hate spinach, and I never want to eat it. And I told my mom to never make it again. And then she was like, who, who do you think you are? And shoved the spinach up my nose. And then after that, I like learned that I can't tell my mom what to cook or not to cook anymore. I just have to eat it and be happy that I get food. Oh my God. It was an effective lesson. And my mom makes really good food. It's just the 12 year old me was like, ew, spinach. I feel like it's a rule that kids just don't like spinach. But like why? Because like now I love spinach. I feel like so many kids also hate like avocados, Brussels sprouts. Actually, it's anything green, honestly. I like Brussels sprouts as a kid. I did also like deep fr fried Brussels sprouts. Disgusting! Bro, you know what they do in America. Not even American. I don't like deep fried stuff. The like thought of oil scares me. I feel like the next day I'm gonna have this like oil like seeping out of my skin, especially my face. Even though there's like absolutely no science behind this, and it's not true whatsoever, it just disgusts me. No, but I feel like if you eat something really oily, you can feel it in your body. I feel like you can feel the oil there. Just like your body soaking it up. Here, do you want to try? Bro, I just remember one more thing I would have added for dessert. I would have got brigadeiros from Brazil. Do you know the condensed milk like chocolate balls? With the sprinkles. Oh, I should have got pau de queijo. I feel like just Germany lacks in the South American food department. Like if there's some good Mexican food, but like other than that. But half the Mexican food in Germany is made by Indian people. There's like no Mexicans here, but there's hella Indians and they know how to cook. So they like read the recipe and like there's stuff like coriander in there and like white people don't want to touch coriander with a stick. They wouldn't even poke it with a stick is the saying. In what language? In English. But I forgot you're born in Brazil, so English is not your first language. You only speak Port <laughs> Brazilian Portuguese. Cow de pau de neve jau. Neymar. Actually, I think I'm ready to die. Okay. I'm not. No, 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 no. Neymar. Wow, de pau pau pau. Poor Brazilian followers. I'm so sorry. Brazil. I'm Brazilian. Can you I've given wow, him wow. the Brazilian pass. Brazil. <laughs> Brazilian people are just like so happy and so energetic and and horny. <laughs> we were like thinking about like what Brazilian trends are there, what people are interested. In. They all just twerk. <laughs> I was just drinking, like, like TV like reporter would be like, "How are you doing today?" And then, I'm feeling great, and then just shaking ass. Like, <laughs> it was funny because we have like this Brazilian friend who went on TV, and we're like, "Oh, what did she do on TV?" She twerked. She twerked on TV. She twerked. <laughs> I need to already try to teach me how to twerk, and then she told me that I'm unteachable and said that <laughs> Germans suck at moving their. You're <laughs> If I'm actually gonna have my death row meal, I'm not ordering all this. Because I genuinely am not going into my death feeling okay after this. Just get me my cleanser, my moisturizer, and then just get me some Botox for my last meal. Also. <laughs> Botox. <laughs> Brazilian <laughs> butt lift. Let's do it. Dude, imagine you just die. It's like at the funeral, you're facing the other way and your butt's just massive. <laughs> Or like ask your family to like, yeah, pick a suit for him and they just, none of them fit, so it's just ripped at the back. <laughs> Bro, that's the Brazilian way to go, I'm telling you. We finished the last course. We're on our way to the electric chair. Electric chair is unsexy. Well, how else do they kill people? Guillotine. Not a guillotine, the axe. Guillotine <laughs> is just clean. Like, it's like, you can frame your head afterwards. You can like take your family, like a statue in your backyard, mm. chop the head off, put your head on. What about and it's cool. That's how they killed the, all the French bourgeoisie. So we're basically like royalty, French royalty. Yeah, we're bourgeoisie. Yeah, bourgeoisie. Mort avec le guillotine.
Thank you guys for watching our Death Romeos. We'll see you in the afterlife.